today is day one of this year's camp exposure experience in Highland Park. 100 area high school student athletes are going to be participating in the third wow. annual summer football camp for free. Um, and it's much more than just a football camp. You know, these kids, they have specific life coach coaching involved for them this weekend as well. Identity, mental health, spiritual health, uh, and much more. So we have camp organizer and co-founder Lubbock Smith, the third joining us in the K year world, zoom room and, and Lubbock, this camp has a really like unique edge. Why is it so important to include these life courses into the itinerary of a football camp? One, because these football student athletes are more than just athletes, right? Um, They're more than that. And unfortunately, a lot of times they get treated just as an athlete. And they think that by the time they get done playing ball, that that's all that they had. And so for us, we want to make sure that they are instilled with the foundation and the principles that's going to help them be successful. So that way, by the time they make it to the pros or not, they understand that they can use their God-given abilities and talent to go above and beyond in all aspects of life. Because you can't play ball when you're 65 years old, right? Even at the age of 32 right now, I feel the the woes and the toll of having played football, especially my knees. Mm -hmm. And so for them, we want to make sure that they're equipped to be successful in every area. So that way, um, again, when they're done, they have a career, they have the aspiration, just the heart and just the, the mental fortitude to, you know, thrive in, in every area. How tough is it to get through to the kids in letting them know that football might not be their future, that they need to know these skills? Do they want to know these skills? I would say for us, because our approach is very innovative and creative. Uh, we've lived this experience ourselves. I played football uh, at the University of Kansas. Prior to that, I was at Carter High School. Uh, shout out to Carter and, and go Jayhawks. But uh, in, in terms of just being a four-year starter, uh, was able to experience a lot of things on and off the field. Um, having been successful, it allowed me to be able to get a, a master's uh, degree paid for. Uh, so having my bachelor's and my master's, that allowed me to see things differently, right? So we are from our CEO, Tyler Pamman, who also played in the NFL. He went on to do greater things on and off the field. And Jeremiah Hatch, who is killing it in real estate, we've been able to embody exactly what this organization is about. And we want to make sure that they're doing the same thing too. For uh, To answer your question, no, it's actually really easy for us. Um, It's the medicine with the candy approach. They think they're getting just sports. They think they're going to learn from great NFL players and trainers. Like, no, we're teaching you guys about financial literacy. We're educating you on mental health. Um, professional development, how to shake a person's hands and be etiquette. Uh, Also personal branding. NIL is a big deal. So when they learn we're doing all these different things, they're like, oh, I want to be a part of that. And their parents are like, you know, hey, how can we get them involved with you guys more often? So it's more than just an event. Uh, It's a full foundation, uh, an organization that we're impacting them in all sports, starting with football. No doubt that they are going to have some huge takeaways, you know, uh, on and off the field for these next three days. But what is the hope or the possible potential? Could some of these uh, players get any offers or, or, you know, seen by, you know, college uh, coaches this weekend? Absolutely. We actually have a couple of, you know, I don't want to name them, but we have some NFL players, um, some big time Dallas Cowboys guys that's going to come by. Um, as guests and friends of ours. Um, we also have Dave Campbell football that's going to come by and check out these guys. So we have a lot of top players. Um, one, Warren Roberson, he's with Red Oak. Um, he is uh, being recruited by USC, Texas, Alabama, a lot of big time schools. We have uh, Eli Baeza, who's going to be coming in as a, I want to say junior. And he already has like 25 plus offers from D1 schools. Um, and then you have I think his name is Reese Randall uh, from South Oak Cliff from SOC. This guy's been recruited by University of Texas. So that that says along the top, you know, guys that we have here. But it's not just about being the top guy, because when you're on that field, there are no more stars. Um, you're playing, you know, against all the top guys in the country at a, a competitive uh, level. So we want to make sure how are you going above and beyond just being competitive on the field? Because they're checking your Instagram. They're checking all the things you're doing. Like we want to set you up for life. So whether you are successful on the field or not as successful as you aspire to do, you're going to go and be above and beyond in everything you aspire to do. What kinds of questions do the kids ask at previous events that you're expecting them to be asking this year? They ask really to be, be, to be quite frank, very simple questions that are, you know, pretty good and easy for us. 
you know, how do I go about navigating these relationships? You know, these guys are getting hit up in the DMs on Instagram. You know, uh, they're being asked, you know, how do I navigate things with my parents at home? Or I don't have both parents. You know, I'm a, I live in a single parent household with my mom. How do I budget? Um, how do I even go about getting a job? How do I address appropriately and know how to articulate and still yet be myself and genuine, authentic and true to my culture and where I'm from at the same time? So for us, we embody that. We live that every single day and it's a everyday process for us. So we just get to the point to them where we not only live, but have lived this at the same time and bring them along our journey to help them go past us and be even more successful. Absolutely. You talk about your own experience, um, the experience that that the other coaches and and mentors that are there, they've lived the similar lives as these students. A hundred of them have been handpicked to come to this camp this weekend. A lot of them from underprivileged communities. Uh, how how unique is this experience for them to come to Highland Park here in Dallas? What is that like for them? It's great, one, because Highland Park has been a great partner and they've welcomed, welcomed us in with open arms. Um, last year, you know, we were primarily at the, the football field, the indoor. And then this year, they're like, hey, you guys want the press box? You guys want, you know, because that relationship, right? And so we're teaching the guys the same thing. And so when they come from the same area that we're from, I'm from Oak Cliff, Hampton Black, um, and I come from a very hard area. And a lot of the guys from Oak Cliff, South Dallas, Southern Dallas area, are coming from the same thing, the same thing I've experienced. Like, hey, this is, I won't say culture shock because I lived in Lawrence, Kansas, but having been here in Highland Park where it is very affluent, there's lots of resources and capital and opportunities. And when they see these type of high quality facilities, they're like, hey, this is what you get to play in in college. But make sure that when you go off and be successful, make sure you come back to your community, make sure that you utilize what you have, not as a hand down, but as a hand up in order to help us further and scale and grow economically what we're trying to grow and build together. But you have to understand how to do that and know the value of what we're pouring into you because a lot of people don't know the value of free. And we're trying to teach them that it's an investment we're pouring into you so that way you can come back and do the same thing for others. Once camp is over, do the kids typically understand that? I would say yes. I would say it's a growing process because these are things that we all wanted when we played football and we experienced these things. We always ask questions like, why didn't we have these things as you know, middle school, high school, I grew up playing football for the Oak Cliff Jets. And if it wasn't for my little league football coach, who's now, I call him my father, pouring these things into me, I won't be where I am today. And so we're doing the same thing with them. And so now they're coming back, understanding things more in terms of relationship, financial literacy, knowing how to budget, knowing your needs and wants, right? Knowing how to, you need to delete delete that post you just made on, on social media because uh, uh, a college recruit is gonna look at that and they're gonna say, hey, that scholarship is going to be gone if you don't take that down. So we're, we're putting in longevity, lifetime uh, values and foundation and principles. So that way they're going off to be even better and reaching their full potential in life in themselves as well, holistically, so they can maximize all opportunities. Absolutely. It's a lot of things that uh, Rankin and I, we talk about off the air about, man, we need adulting class 101 in school. We didn't learn this and we didn't learn that. We had to learn through the hard knocks yeah. of, you know, out after out of school. We're like, why didn't we learn this? It's you know, um, we've talked about how this has uh, been a great opportunity for these kids stress-free of the finances, but you have been accepting donations to be able to reach a goal of $10,000. Uh, you also have been inviting the community to come see these kids uh, play. So how can people support you in this mission? They can definitely go over to thecapexposure.com. We have a donate button. Hit donate, you know, whatever you feel like the Lord is putting on your heart. I know this sounds like I'm a church, but we're not trying to pressure anyone into giving. Uh, we This is a very genuine, uh, sincere effort in what we're doing. And we've been blessed because of it. We're not looking for anything out of return of it more than anything, just for them to go out and utilize what we're pouring into them to be successful because it's faith-based. And if we've helped them to become everything uh, that they've been called to be in life by God, then that's that's a success story, right? Everything else is a byproduct of that. Um, so if they can be successful on and off the field, we've won. And then for this Sunday, uh, Sunday, July 10th, our Sunday Family Fun Day is going to have Lady Jade as our host. We'll have a kids camp. Uh, they have a 707 tournament. We'll have free food, free games, activities, bouncy houses, things like that. And a huge 707 tournament uh, over at the Highland Park Stadium. 
Um, we'll have an announcer, a press box, music, DJ. It's going to be a fun activity, and it's free for all the kids, for the families that want to come out and join us. I had one last question for you. You talk about the, the things that the kids are learning. One thing that especially is true in the last couple of years is especially college football players are now not just players. They're not just students. They are literally their own brands at this point. Yeah. You're teaching that as well. Yes, sir. We teach them professional development. We go over how to navigate relationships, not how to burn bridges, um, how to make sure that you enter everything, not transactional, but transformational. And then when it comes to personal branding, a lot of them are on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, they're on way things, you know, uh, that we were on, Kristen, back when we know MySpace was popping in Facebook. Um, so they have a lot of more access. So making sure that they know how to leverage it to their benefit rather than the opposite side, right? A lot of times people always preach the negative. Oh, if you post this, this is going to happen. Like, let's be more positive. Let's say, hey, let's make sure that you are marketing yourself well, your family. Let's show people who you truly are. And you need to be consistent and congruent. Who you are on social media needs to be who you are in real life. So all these things in order to make sure that they're representing themselves. So that way they understand they're representing something bigger, their school, their family, the you know, professional school uh, uh, team, maybe the Dallas Cowboys and they play for in the future, right? We're setting themselves up for those things, NIL, financial literacy, teaching them how to be wise stewards now. So that way they can be trusted with little, they can now be trusted with more and learn how to fish and know how to feed themselves and teach other, others how to do the same thing. You said financial literacy, um, you know, Vista Bank is uh, pro is promoting this, uh, sponsoring this and and yeah. uh, just to be able to bring in more people of color and being able to educate youth on how to handle their money. How important is that? I think it is very vital. Uh, it's imperative that they understand how to be wise, wise stewards with the money um, and any type of capital and resources that they have, because. There is a deficit. There's a lots of disparities when it comes to um, the southern sector of Dallas. Um, statistically speaking, I want to say the poverty line is about 48 percent, and then roughly around 36 percent below poverty. So when you have those type of staggering numbers, they need to be aware of the opportunities that football presents them. But you see, you know, I don't know if people saw the podcast on the pivot with Michael Beasley. His parents stole from him. You know, there's. These pro athletes go through a lot, but it starts at home. It starts now. And if we're not equipping them with the tools that we're doing at, uh, at Vista Bank, who is, we are the title sponsor for uh, this year's camp. We are putting these things into play now, but not just at this event, consistently having one-on-one -on -one financial coaching, meeting with them as a mentor, because it's beyond just, you know, talking about finances. We need to build a relationship with you. That's what you should be doing with a banker. You need to be able to know like, hey, what, what what happens with my money? What is money, right? It's, it's a tool. You need to learn how to build your future with it. So all these things to make sure that they're successful, not only with their money, but in all the things that they have going on in life, because it's a, it's a, cyclical, it's a cyclical effect. You know, everything is connected. And when they understand that everything's connected to money, they know how to go about things a lot better than it just being, you know, you know, frivolous and just spending money, you know, just sporadically here and there. Just, yeah, just. Yeah, exactly. Money. No, we're not doing that, bro. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Loving Smith the third with Camp Exposure happening this weekend. Again, all of our listeners invited to go out to the family and friends event on Sat on Sunday. And it is completely free. Uh, social media where people can follow you at Highland Park. Yes, it'll be at Highland Park for Sunday Family Fun Day. And you can follow me at on Instagram, Lubbock Smith, just like the city. All right. You got it. Thank you so much, Love. Appreciate you. Thank you.